use of the title so let's get directly into it when you have the h at the beginning of a compound then it will be an acid an acid can be named in two classifications one when you have the oxygen and two when you do not have the oxygen in the anion so we are going to start naming when you do not have oxygen in the anion so let's take for example when you take h c l how can we name this acid so what is this here this is chlorine so what will you do you will just take the root which is chlor and you write it down over here now what will you do you will add hydro before the chlor and then you will add ice after the chlor and then you'll add acid and that's how you can simply name the acid which has no oxygen now naming the acids which have oxygen will be classified into two when the anion ends with ATE and when the anion ends with ITE so let's take for example HNO3 now this NO3 from the table polyatomic ions table is called nitrate now we can see here that it ends with ATE so what will you do you will cancel out this ATE and then you will write IC instead of ATE and then you will write acid so this will be called nitric acid now what if you have here HNO2 now this NO2 from the polyatomic ion table is called nitrite so we can see here it ends with ITE so what will you do you'll cancel out the ITE and you'll have here instead of ITE you'll write OUS and then you'll add acid so this should be called nitrous acid and that is how you can simply name acids